So I'm going to show you my procedure for starting microgreens. I use uh, milk cartons. Uh, this is a soy milk carton. I cut out the middle section so I end up with two trays, uh, maybe a half inch, about that, a half inch deep. So I put just a little bit of soil in the bottom. And I'm using just, I have some old um, potting mix. I, I use this instead of compost or something from the garden because I, keeping uh, mold and organisms out of it is, uh, is an issue when growing this way. So I've got a small amount in the bottom and then I take a paper towel and I fold this over so that it will just be doubled and maybe just a little bit more than doubled in the bottom of the tray. It'll go over the soil. Cut the end of it so it just matches the tray. I'm going to throw that in the tray as well. So I've got soil quarter inch of soil maybe, covered by paper towel. Then I sprinkle it to start to moisten it. It'll take a while to get it well moistened. Uh, this is just a salad mix, uh, salad, uh, salad dressing bottle, and I poked holes in the tops that makes a nice sprinkler rather than a spritzy gun. And then I have a number of kinds of seeds. I have here, this is actually bird seed, sunflower seed, which is what I'm going to plant today. I have radishes, I have pea seeds, and then broccoli. So let's go with the sunflower seeds. I have a couple of measuring cups. This is a, it's a little shot glass, but it has measurements on it. So two tablespoons is about what I'll use. Then I have another little plastic measuring uh, cup that's one tablespoon that I use for some of the smaller seeds. So let's give about two tablespoons of the sunflower seeds. And then I'm going to just sprinkle those over the top. Now, some people will soak the seeds first and there's some advantage to that but i find that if i just moisten them this way it seems to be easier it's easier to spread them out a little bit less messy than trying to moisten them first and then spread them out so it's getting a pretty decent spread and i know from past experience that approximately two tablespoons of the larger seeds cover these two tablespoons for the peas or the sunflower seeds or one tablespoon for the radishes and broccoli. And then I'll go ahead and give it a little sprinkle on the top. This is probably going to need a little bit more uh, water as we go along just so, to moisten the soil and to moisten the seeds, but I'll keep uh, moistening that. Now I have the seeds that I've already started. Have them here. You can see I'm using Jiffy Mix. These are about a half pound each. I'm using those to weight down. And I have a, a tray on the top. And then I have some broccoli starting. Oops, there was a seed on the back of there. Some broccoli just starting to sprout. And underneath that, I have some peas. Now what I do is I take all of these, a little seed on the back there, and once or twice a day I give them some air because one of the problems I have is mold and if you give a little air to them a couple times a day that seems to keep the mold down. So I'm going to restack these, my peas. Take this camera and show you what's going on here with the peas. 
uh, are having some sprouts already. Broccoli, not too much. And then the sunflowers, of course, I just planted. So I'm going to stack these up again. That keeps them covered, keeps the moisture in, and gives a little bit of pressure. I'll cover them with a, an empty tray and my little weights. That little bit of pressure uh, keeps the moisture in, keeps the light out, and then as they start to sprout, they'll actually push that up a little bit. And that's when I start to know I, I need to leave them uncovered. It's between the, the size of the sprouts and also making sure that I don't have uh, too much uh, mold starting to grow in the tray.